Hi, this is Dr. Nail Nipper, and I am just out taking a little walk with my daughter you've all heard about. Say hi, and this is Maxwell, our fearless pup. And we are just taking advantage of a really nice day here in the upper Midwest when it's not snowing and it's not 30 below. And I thought I would just take a minute to talk to you about um, some of the questions. I'd like to start answering some of the questions online that people are asking. And I think the first one would be, what actually is a podiatrist and am I a real doctor? And so the answer is yes, I am a real doctor. I go by Dr. Sperling. And in the US, a podiatrist is a physician who is licensed for medical and surgical intervention of foot and leg problems. Every state in the US has its own rules about what a podiatrist can and can't do. Um, and it depends on where you are. Uh, whether you can work with knees or hips or or whatever, but we do orthotics, we do toenails, which you've seen here on the video, and we also do uh, surgery. We work with patients inpatient, outpatient, we point. have full prescribing privileges, we have hospital admitting privileges, uh, many podiatrists do see patients in the emergency department, and uh, several are office-based, which is what I am. So I do have hospital privileges and can take patients in for surgery as needed. Uh, mostly I see patients in my clinic. Our education starts with four years of university or college, plus four years of podiatric medical school, which I tell people is kind of similar to dental school, where the first two years are identical to any medical school you see, and then the second two years of our clinical practice uh, is mostly regarding the lower extremity from the hip on down. I like to say that podiatrists are the orthopedists, rheumatologists, pediatricians, dermatologists, neurologists, all of the bottom six inches of the body. So pretty much anything that happens from the knee on down is within our scope of practice, both medically and surgically. You know, one of the things I like best about my profession is that I'm not, as a general rule, dealing with life and death issues. It's very much a quality of life type of profession where people as a rule will feel better walking out of my office than they felt when they walked in. I've had the honor and the privilege to both meet and work with chiropodists and podiatrists from other countries, learning everything from how they do biomechanics to foot mobilization therapy where I spent some time in Australia learning from the best. And I always find it very interesting to learn what their rules and uh, limitations are and how they make their professions work for them given whatever the general rules are in the country in which they work. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to walk with us today. I know Maxwell enjoyed himself and hopefully we'll get another video done to answer another question coming up in the near future.